Okay, today let's talk about Black Friday and Cyber Monday and all these interesting deals that could help us starting artists out there or any other content creator that is looking to maybe purchase some software or to improve your gear. Hi, my name is Jos Gonzalez and in this channel I try to put everything that comes into my head and all of the resources and all the research that I do to create my own art business so that probably it can serve you as a guide for your own ideas. If you're interested in watching more videos like this, consider subscribing. Now, this video is going to be a little bit different from the ones that I have filmed in the past because I was actually not planning for this. I was actually just purchasing my own Adobe license and I thought that maybe some information that I already have in my head could be useful for you if you're considering to buy some of those things during this date. That said, I'm not here to sell you anything because the things that I'm about to talk to you about are things that I have tried myself and I believe that they help me through my daily tasks. So it will depend on whatever it is that you do, if this is helpful or not. Now, first I want to talk to you about software software and the types of license that at least I know. Like whenever you want to purchase a software, you will see that you can buy a permanent license, which means that you just pay one time and you will own that software. Like you can have that maybe without updates or maybe they will offer you some kind of upgrades for the first year or for the first months or something. And then later on, they will stop giving you that support, but you will own that software. Now, the second type is the subscription type, which is getting more common every day. Like it's like purchasing a subscription subscription from Netflix. Like you will have that service or you will have that software for that period of time. It could be like month to month or maybe year to year or maybe you pay every three years, something like that, and you will get your, their full support and upgrades during that time, but you don't actually own the software. They let you use that software for that period of time. Once that period of time is done, you will not be able to use that software. Now, the third type is actually one that you don't need a license or like the license is open so you can use that software for free and this team of software engineers and artists leave out from donations or sponsorships or something like that. So now let's actually go into specifics. So the license that I bought or the subscription that I bought for this year was the Creative Cloud All Apps because you can see that you can get a 40% off. So that's really cool, which means that if you're looking to buy a subscription that is month to month, you will pay $30 every month for you to use all of their software. And this is really good for me. I have bought this for the past three years because I use a lot of Photoshop, Premiere Pro, Illustrator, After Effects, Audition. If you're just looking to use maybe Photoshop, then you're probably better off buying this photography bundle, which is only $10 a month, and you will be able to use Photoshop and Lightroom, and I, I believe that Bridge and Camera Roy are also in there. So if you're an illustrator, then you're probably better off with this one, and if you are uh, someone that wants to include videos, then I strongly recommend that you buy the All app. Now, something that you have to have in mind while purchasing a subscription from Adobe with a discount like this is that it only applies for the first year only. Now, this is something that doesn't make too much sense to me because it's like punishing your loyal customers. You're just focusing on rewarding newcomers. But what about people that stick around with you for a long time? I believe that loyal customers are just as important, right? The alternative that I have done for the past three years is to repurchase the subscriptions through a different email. Now, I don't know if it's always 40%, but the, for the past three years, they've had at least a similar discount in these dates. So just consider that, that if you want to purchase it, maybe right now is the best time to do so, or maybe next year. Then when they say that this is Creative Cloud All Apps, that is actually not true because they also have this Substance 3D collection. I don't know if you're into 3D, but Substance Designer or Substance Painter are really popular texturing and look depth, and Adobe purchased this software and are actually developing a little bit more on them. But uh, they also have a discount on that. Now, speaking about 3D and rendering, I also use this uh, Marmoset Toolback 4. I use it at my job and I absolutely love it. If you're familiar with all of these rendering and look depth softwares, this is really easy to use and you can get like really good images in a really small amount of time. So I am considering to buy this one. And you can see that they have like a subscription, which is $15 a month or 300 for one time fee only and you will own the software. I actually just noticed that they have like lifetime evil support included. So that's really cool. $300. I know it's not like just some small amount, but the fact that you're going to own it forever, I think that that's really interesting. If I am going to buy, which I think I am going to do it, I'm going to go for the perpetual license. Now, as we move forward, you will see that the more industry standard the software, the more expensive it is. 
And I found that in ZBrush, like they do not offer a lot of discounts, uh, but you can get ZBrush in these kind of websites where they are authorized resellers. And here you have like $150 a discount. So that's pretty cool too. And I was doing some digging on why they don't give a lot of discounts from Pixelogic. And I believe that the reason is because even though what they promise is one year of upgrades or support while purchasing a perpetual license, up until now, people have had free upgrades from every version to date. People who bought ZBrush more than 20 years ago, they still have the best version out there. I don't know if this is going to go for a while. Chances are that not, that they are going to start uh, charging for the upgrades but for now this could be a good option right so you will get your license for 746 in this website and you probably will have like upgrades of zbrush for the years to come now let's go to the software that i would love to buy but it's so expensive that you actually cannot get a perpetual license which is maya and they do have like this good discount to if you buy it uh, right now for uh, this cyber week. Uh, so if you're considering to make the leap of having the license of Maya, then you can do it right now for this discount. But you have to know that it's going to be 3,672 for three years. After those three years, like you're done. You're basically paying a thousand and 250 or something like that for one year. Now that said, I don't know if by any chance you're watching me from Mexico, you will see that actually in Mexico, you have a better deal. You have that for three years, you will be paying 49,000 pesos. Now, if you do this conversion, you will see that 3,672 is going to be roughly 70,000, a little bit more than 70,000 pesos. And here is 49,000. So that's something that I was really surprised for because usually like prices in Mexico are more expensive uh, when you try to buy something from Amazon or stuff like that. But apparently maybe in software, things are a bit more cheap here. But anyway, I am not going to be able to buy Maya this year, which leaves us to uh, one of the other licenses that I was telling you about, the ones that are free. And a substitute for Maya that is being really mentioned lately is Blender. This is free for you to download, to use it, to render, to do anything that you want with it. You can get like really interesting results from this. Although I have to say I have tried it like three times now, not with the full effort really. Like I thought that I was going to be able to do an easy jump between Maya and Blender. And the fact that it's like, it's not that easy to do, especially if you're not doing like daily 3D tasks, like you just go there and maybe spend like a couple of hours and then you come back next week or maybe next two weeks or three weeks and you forget everything again. Because this software, I believe, or what I have found is that it's really based on shortcuts. It's not only learning like a new software, it's learning like a new language. Like you have to get used to all of these new shortcuts. I'm going to be trying this another time, maybe in the channel, I can show you some of the progress that I make so that you are encouraged to learn this free software as well. Um, so that would be all from the software. I wish that I found some discounts on Procreate. Uh, for the iPad, which is another software that I really like. But unfortunately, I didn't find any discounts. Now, that said, it is not that expensive to buy Procreate, I believe maybe $13. Uh, and it's a permanent license as well. So I don't think that's like a really expensive price anyway for the amount of power that you have within that app. They recently had an upgrade where you can start making some look dev into 3D, but I tried it and it's not that powerful just yet um, as all of these other apps. But anyway, uh, I'm getting off topic with that. I'm going to uh, go quickly over some uh, items that I use on a daily basis and probably you're interested in. And one of them is this camera, is the Canon M50, is the one that I am filming on right now. Unfortunately, they do not have a discount right now. That said, the lens that I am using right now does have a discount and it act it's actually a good discount. It's a decent discount of 17% off. And I really like this lens because it really has like this wide angle for you to block with. And also it has like this really nice depth of field, which means that you get these blurry things that are not in focus. And you can see that if I put my hand or anything in, uh, in front of it, you will see this really nice depth of field. Like from the lenses that I have, this has the best image quality. 
but this uh, lens is not compatible with all cameras. This is for a full frame camera, which are more expensive cameras. So it will not fit into this M50. Now uh, you have to buy this adapter. Unfortunately, this adapter doesn't have any discount. Now, something that I want to mention about this lens though, there are three things that I don't like about it. And one thing it doesn't have to do with the lens, it's actually to do with the camera. Since the M50 is a smaller sensor camera than a full frame, you cannot get everything that you can from the lens to the camera. And what I mean by that is that you will see that if I go all the way to the widest shot that you can film with this, and you will see that in the corners, you will have all this dark area, which is basically that the lens is gathering more than what the camera can actually gather. I found that uh, you basically are not using an 18 to 35, you're actually using a 24 to 35. So if I go to 24, you will see that the corners are no longer affected. So just have that in mind. Now, a second thing that I don't really enjoy about the lens is that it's a really heavy lens. And although this is good for you to have like a more stable shot, like if you want to block with it, like you have your arm like really stretched out and start filming yourself, like you're going to get tired really fast, or at least I get really tired. Like probably I'm just too weak and you're really strong, so you will have no problem with that. And the third thing is that if you want to film with it with, a, with the internal microphone of the camera or with a microphone that just goes on top of it, you will have some noise. Like, like whenever it starts to focus, it, it makes like a... So you will, you will hear that in your, in your recordings. That said, it does have a really nice discount and I really love it. I really love for this purpose, like if it's going to stay there, if I'm gonna have like an external microphone here that is going to uh, be away from the camera, then you will not have that problem. But yeah, right now it has a discount. And if you're also watching this video from Mexico, you will see that you have a really interesting discount, although, this is for Nikon, so just have that in mind. If you own a full frame camera from Nikon and you're looking to upgrade your lens by any chance, I know it's a long shot, but you have a really interesting discount right here. You have a, almost 30% off, so that's pretty cool. Now let's go to another couple of things that I use day to day and I really want to recommend. I don't want to sound like someone that wants to sell you stuff because I don't get anything from Sateki, but actually I really love the products that they make. I use this keyboard a lot with the iPad and both when I am not using the laptop as a laptop, but as a, like an external CPU. I really love this keyboard because it's super slow the keys they're just really comfy and they are self-lit and this is wireless you can get this pretty much anywhere like it's not going to take you any space or it's not going to be heavy for your back and this is something that I only found on a Logitech keyboard some years ago and they discontinued it for some reason I don't know why and this is the only keyboard that I found maybe there's more out there but for the ones that I've been searching for this is the only one that I have found that has all those three things that is really portable it's self-lit and it is wireless now another product from Sateki is this iPad stand. I really like it. Uh, it's basically very simple. It is also foldable so that you can carry out anywhere. Um, this is actually a little bit more heavy, but it is on the good side because it is very sturdy. I have been using this for more than six months now and it's still as rigid as, as I bought it. Well, you can use it as a laptop really easily. And if you're looking to draw something, maybe in Procreate, you, you can just adjust it to this uh, height or to whatever height that you want. And it's really sturdy for you to draw. Like even the table is moving more than the stand. Those couple of products are ones that I use pretty much every day and I really enjoy and I am not getting any of it if you buy them uh, and they really have like interesting discounts right now from 20% up to 30% on their website so that's pretty cool. So what are your thoughts on all of these interesting discounts on items or software that could be essential for your own art business? In my opinion, I think that first you would like to focus on what is the need that you want to cover for your ideal customer or what art or craft you need to actually create in order to make a sale. And then you will have a clearer idea on where to save money or where to spend money. Also, I believe that there's a couple of factors that you could take into account. Maybe you already have like some savings that you were going to spend on a TV or maybe you were going to spend it on a video game or something like that. 
and by spending it or investing it into your art project then you will feel more committed maybe there's someone out there that is willing to sponsor you or is willing to pay you for these licenses maybe if you already have a job and they have the licenses for the software that you need maybe you can ask if you can use those softwares to use them for your personal projects and maybe they will say yes or maybe there's some other external factor that for some reason you have some money that you can spend on and it would be best to spend it when the software or the item has a discount in my case i have a motorcycle that has been gathering dust for some months now because of covid and home office i haven't been able to ride it and although i love to go out with my bike uh, i think it's time to let it go and instead of using that money maybe to invest it on something that is safer right now i'm really motivated by this art project so chances are that i am going to buy maybe the tool bag from marmoset uh, or maybe I'm going to buy the Zebras Perpetual License, something like that, because that will make me feel more committed or more motivated into continuing to my art project. So that's it for this video. I hope that if you actually decide to buy something in these dates, it will actually give you all the motivation that you need and it will give you 10, 100, a million times more than what you spend into your art project. And also if you have a certain recommendation that could be useful for any artist out there that is trying to start their own business, I encourage you to write it on the comments below. I believe our baby community would be really happy to hear about those so i will leave you with toothless and boba footage for the end of this video see you on the next one bye bye